Hello and welcome to Kilv from the north coast of Somerset in right next to the Bristol Channel. So if we go north and over the sea there we would get to Wales. And I'm currently standing on a sequence of Jurassic rocks called the Blue Lias. So these are a series of sedimentary rocks that were deposited in a marine setting in the Jurassic. So they are interbedded shales and limestones. They've got abundant marine fossils such as ammonites showing that we're in a sort of fairly deep marine setting. Now, I'm not that interested in the sedimentology of these rocks. What is far more interesting to me as a structural geologist is the fantastic structures that we get exposed here at Kilv. So we're on the edge of the Bristol Channel Basin. So we're in a setting where we're on the edge of a sedimentary basin. Sedimentary basins form in extensional settings where we've got plate tectonic forces that are pulling apart. They're forming extensional structures which are then filling up with sediments. And really there's a the story, the structural story at Kilv is multifaceted. We've got multiple events that are happening, but a lot of the features that we see here are extensional structures that formed during the formation of the Bristol Channel Basin. Behind me is one of the best exposures of a fault that we see anywhere in the UK. So it's a brilliant place to teach you about geological structures. Plate tectonic forces are immense and they cause the crust on our, the surface of our planet to deform into features called faults, which you've already heard about. So a fault is a planar surface where we've had movement of rocks with one package being moved either up on top of or being extended and pulled away from another series of rocks. So the fault itself is the surface in which we have that movement and that's driven by generally large plate tectonic forces. So the big magnitude forces are then forming sometimes very, very small features in the rock, but altogether we can sort of piece together the evidence to work out what the plate tectonic setting was. And in places like this in Kilv, we can look at the evidence in the rocks and then think about what were the stresses like. As structural geologists, we're interested in finding evidence for what the paleo stress orientation magnitude was back in time when these tectonic events were happening. So I'll talk to you a little bit more in some of these videos about the principal stresses and how we can use the features in the rocks to understand those.